Hey, hey, my friends, check it out. I have a ton of ideas for my winter celebrations recipe book. So I'm gonna get on those. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm gonna make. Now, I, I did make um, an apple cider, but uh, I had a piece of paper towel fall into the Vitamix. So I'm gonna go grab myself another apple down at the concierge because they have them there for free. So I'm gonna do that so I don't have to head over to the grocery store yet. There, I just went downstairs to grab an apple and get my mail. <laughs> there we go. All right, apple cider, take two. You know when you have soft vanilla beans from Tahiti, it's going to be a good day. All right, let's see if this turns out to be any good. Yum. First up, warm apple cranberry cider. Now, making a new recipe book for you guys is taking a little bit extra cash and trips to the grocery store. I'm constantly coming down here for ingredients that I keep forgetting I need, but I'm grateful that I have this organic grocery store about a five minute walk from my house. It's called Earth General Store. And they have, even this ugly is beautiful. They have little packaged fruits and vegetables that are overripe or on their way out for a discount, which is a trick to eating raw on a budget. Now I almost got this watermelon, but they are very expensive this time of year and they're so small. So I'm gonna pass on that, but I came here really for some herbs and spices, some lettuce, and a couple other random ingredients. But ooh, I think I might get these green beans for a hazelnut green bean dish and some corn for my plum corn salad. Uh, there's some parsley here, parsnips, uh, turnips, and ooh, I might get some kale and those carrots look good. But I still need a couple other things. So I had to head, head over to the bigger grocery store and grab some cranberries. Um, I got these figs to snack on, but yeah, I grabbed a couple other things here that I couldn't get at the organic grocery store, but this is a great place too. They have lots of stuff. Here's my haul, and I started with this cashew sour cream. It's a special cranberry jalapeno dip. It's a like sour cream dip, and it's got these, um, cranberry on top with jalapeno. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge to get a little bit more marinated. Check it out, guys. Yeah. Raw and vegan. Holy, that's a lot, but yeah. So good. There, that's a little bit better of an amount. Check it. Going in the book. All right, next up we have this beautiful cabbage apple currant coleslaw. It's a nice sweet coleslaw, perfect as a little side dish to your next holiday little get together or just because. Yum. And just waiting for my little tartlet cups to dehydrate. These silicone baking cups are so awesome for raw food. Definitely a must-have. And here we go, current tarts with a Tahitian vanilla cashew cream whipping cream. You can skip the whipping cream if you don't want to add the extra fat. That's totally cool. But the berry tart is so delicious. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, but wait. And how about some cranberry apple crumble? Anyone want some raw vegan stuffing? <laughs> Sorry, it's so dark, but I made this one a little later. Oh my God, it smells amazing. All right, so we've got some of the layout going on here. I'm gonna fill in some of those and these two desserts, guys. Gotta get in on it. So delicious. Mm. Butternut squash ginger soup here. Nice and warming for those cold winter days. And we have here a raisin tart, kind of like a pie tart. Raisin lemon, actually. So delicious. 
I'm gonna cut a piece out of that. And moving on to some salads, here is a creamy orange spinach salad. The vitamin C content and the little bit of fat in the dressing is actually going to help you absorb more nutrients from the spinach. So that's great, the iron and the vitamin K and all that good stuff. But the dressing is so good, so it's a bonus. And here we have a fat-free pomegranate dressing on a kale salad. You can definitely do low-fat dressings as well. There are a bunch in this book. This one here is like candy. It's so good. Ooh, what about some spicy yam cakes? These were in the dehydrator for a little bit just to get them to form and stay as patties. And this is an orange ginger cranberry dipping relish or cranberry sauce. So those are also in the book. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat these. Mm. I think I'm going to eat this all myself. <laughs> mm. Or you could make this amazing chutney. Oh my gosh, I could just eat this with a spoon. It's so good. So you could put that on those yam cakes if you wanted. Or you can make little uh, boats with um, red peppers. Make it nice and low fat, or you can put it on cucumber rounds too. Oh my gosh. And then this is, you can't even see it. I did take the picture and then I poured all the rest of the salad into a giant bowl and I poured the dressing on top, but it's a pecan dressing. And then this seriously is so interesting. This is not meat, guys. No animal products. This is young Thai coconut that I have marinated in a select few herbs and dehydrated. So it kind of tastes a little bit like holidays, really. And this is my enoki noodle soup, kind of like a chicken noodle soup, but my version. I used enoki mushrooms, but you can use other mushrooms if you want. Cucumber noodles in here and some onions and carrots and celery. Uh, you don't have to eat cold food during the winter if you don't want to. This broth was warmed in the Vitamix. You can use the Vitamix, you can use the dehydrator to warm up your food so it's room temperature. I even soaked the cucumber noodles in warmer water so that they weren't freezing cold. And here is another fat-free recipe. This is a plum corn salad. So delicious. And I have my, my, my limes and my notes ready for more recipes tomorrow. So it's the first snowfall today here in Canada, but it's absolutely beautiful, incredibly gorgeous. Just thought I'd share this all with you guys, considering all the food in here is nice and warmed up in the dehydrator or using warming spices to keep you warm when you have to live in places like this. <laughs> All right, off to more recipes. And some warm spiced plum pudding. It's not really a pudding, it's more like an applesauce-y kind of pudding. It is sorta, of, but not really, but it's so good. And the plums on top have been warmed and we're marinating in a special sauce that is in the book. Oh my, this smells so good. It is scallop zucchini squash. So really, it's like, it is like so good. Thank goodness for sun warmed temperatures like in the dehydrator, cause this is where it's at. Ooh, look at those, they're so cool. Awesome. Get this grocery store. It's actually only produce. That's all you can get here. I mean, in, like salad stuff or whatever, but it's all produce. It's awesome. Pick up some ingredients for the book. Ooh, it's 
like a quiche, but not really a quiche, stuffed inside an acorn squash for the bowl. And it smells amazing because I had it in the dehydrator for about a half an hour or so. So it's a little warm and it's perfect for this chilly winter day. So I think that will be lunch for me today. Yep. Raw vegan meatloaf, my friends. Yep, this is where it's at. So good. And we can't forget gingerbread cookies. So this recipe is a little bit of a twist on gingerbread cookies. You can either eat them just this way or you can cut out the center and make my vanilla persimmon filling and make little gingerbread cookie sandwiches. Just let them in the dehydrate a little longer. Here again is the cover of the printed version of this book. It still needs to get approved, but it should be ready by the end of October 2016, beginning of November. If you like any of the recipes that you've seen in this video, there are 41 total recipes in my new recipe book called Have a Winter Raw Food Romance. You can get that at payhip.com slash raw food romance. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouFood at raw food romance or on Snapchat, Lisa Raw Vegan. If you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. I love you all. I seriously do hope that you enjoy these recipes that I've made. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all and I want you to be the healthiest that you can be this winter and this holiday season. Until the next video, guys, love you and prune on.